Right now, I'm just taking this, I'm taking this scenery in. And, you, and by the way, you're getting a lot of love from people b behind the camera. Yeah. That um, people, the people that are watching this can't see. But um, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Let me say that uh, my hope is that some. Wait, that, that young man, I think he knows. Of course. <laughs> We of course. Talk, we just talked about you earlier. Exactly. And you. We, we, we just saw y'all. It's all good. Okay. Yes. Thank you. That's the OG uh, Sweetback, a.k.a. Donald Archie. Yeah. One of the original West Side Crips. Yeah. That came up. Actually, he's the one that brought Tookie to the neighborhood. <laughs> he brought Tookie to the set. Let's check it out. <laughs> exactly. See, uh, see. See, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see, I don't have to name drop. Yeah. I don't have to say who I am. They, they'll tell you who I am. That's what, that's what I find really interesting about this. And, and see, throughout my time, I remain humble. So it wasn't like I was going around braggadocious, walking around like I'm the hardest dude in, in the prison. No, I minded my own business and I exercised and I did things, you know, I did things to, uh, to demonstrate that, you know, I was with the business. So, uh, I never had any issues, man, while I was locked up. Again, when I stopped being violent towards others, violence was no longer in my life. And, and, but one, one other thing I want to say when it, when it comes to, uh, my hope is that at some point, that you can have members from both factions, from the eight trays in the 60s. Again, I know these were things that people have been talking about for some time now. But, but get together, I don't know, to have some type of dialogue. One of the things that I do now is I do uh, restorative justice uh, practices. I do, I hold circles, right? Healing circles. And I, so I'm convinced of the power of restorative justice and those principles, right? And so my hope is that at some point you can have rival members come together and, and discuss what took place be able to set up these opportunities to where we can have this open and honest and vulnerable dialogue about some of the things that happened in our lives, some of the things that, that we did so that we, can, so that we can create some healing, right? And those restorative justice principles, empathy, accountability, and amends, making things right, and healing. Like that's, that's, really, that's really important. So I envision one day of, of, of having a mediator to be able to like, you know, come up with some questions and come up with dialogue. Okay, this is how we're going to show up. This is how you have to show up. And so, you know, you might hear some things that you may not like. How will you act if you hear this? So you got to, it got to be like a, a preparation has to take place. You know what I mean? A mediation has to take place so that these dialogues can happen so that they can see because Ultimately, when we was in prison, right, we were selling up with one another, right? We was living on the tier with one another. We were walking the yard to one another. We was exercising together, you know? So if we can, if we can live like that while we locked up, surely we can live like that while we free. Okay, uh, last question I wanted to uh, address is how much time do you end up doing before we go to the next location? And uh, briefly talk about that. So I got locked up September, the, 15, 1985, and I was released from prison April 27, 2022. So I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna say, you know, I'm gonna round that up to 37. <laughs> I'm gonna round that up to 37. So I did 37 years inside the belly of the beast, and now here I am. I got spit back out up on, on, on dry land. I can tell you, uh, you know, it's a beautiful experience to be free, to be out here. Uh, I do experience anxiety because I don't know what the future holds. But one thing I know is that I believe in what it takes to be in the heart space. To come from my, see, I'm no longer in the head space. I'm now in the heart space. See, when I was in the head space, I was concerned about what people thought or trying to prove like, oh, look at what I can do. See, I was in the head space. Well, now that I'm in the heart space, it's about being authentic. 
you know, going back to who I really am as a person, going back to, human, to, to my humanity. See, that's really important. You know, there was a, there, there's, a, there's a saying around this particular tribe called the Bimba tribe, and how it was said that if a person caused harm inside the community, they would put that person in the center of a circle. And every person would go around and they would remind that person who they were, right? The good things that they were, who they were uh, uh, in terms of uh, their personhood, right? Reminded them that they wasn't the, the, the horrible person who did those horrible things, right? So for me, you know, I'm coming full circle. I'm, I'm at a place of, of, of authenticity. And I'm able, I'm able to be real now. I'm able to say like, yeah, I did some horrible things in life. But I also say, you know what? Not only did I, not only did I serve my time inside prison, but now I'm outside and I'm making a difference in life. I'm going back into San Quentin and Soledad, right? I, 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 I teach a, a curriculum called GRIP, GRIP Training Institute, God Raising the Power, 52 week uh, curriculum, right? Where now I'm sitting in a circle helping people come to terms with the crimes and the horrible things that they've done and how to utilize the tools to keep them from going back inside the prison, right? From committing those horrible crimes again. And I also hold a, a formerly incarcerated circle for uh, our joy, restorative justice for Oakland youth on, 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 on uh, uh, Monday nights in downtown Oakland, right? Systematic impacted people, right? They come. And we have these different dialogues about healthy relationships, about addiction, about grieving, about emotional intelligence and things of that nature, right? So I'm doing some great things still. And I'm still involved with Uncuffed, you know, contract, doing contractual work with them. You can check me out on Uncuffed, uh, on uncuffed.org, uh, Tommy Shakur Ross.